the past 13 years, Imran Anwar has been living the American dream. A beautiful home along the beach, a boat named after his mother, and a successful career with a leading computer software company. But on September 11th, this 40-year-old Long Islander went from being a hard-working American to an American enemy. We are the boogeymen of today. We are the whipping boys of today. Anwar is not a terrorist. He's not a member of Al-Qaeda or an Osama bin Laden supporter. But he is Muslim, a religion shared by all of the September 11th hijackers. As a Muslim, I can feel that I'm part of a group that is not liked or is uh, looked upon with suspicion. Like other American Muslims, Anwar suddenly became the victim of post-9-11 prejudice and hate. In this official vehicle, there was a little uh, sticker uh, in, in, the, in the back window which said, let's kill all the towel heads, let God sort it out. And I was horrified. I was horrified as a Muslim, obviously, and I was horrified as an immigrant, and I was horrified as an American. And the attacks have gone far beyond words. Beatings, shootings, firebombing, and threats. Middle Eastern communities targeted coast to coast. We're in a fight for our principles, and our first responsibility is to live by them. No one should be singled out for unfair treatment or unkind words because of their ethnic background or religious faith. Despite pleas for tolerance from President Bush, the backlash continues and still exists today. It's a new way of living in this post-September 11th world. A feeling of fear and animosity still haunts Anwar, but it's not enough to diminish his devotion to the nation he now calls home. I love this place. I love this country. I'm proud to be a Muslim, and I'm proud to be an American. Heather Holmes, News 12, Long Island.